is the bag. Hey guys, so it's been a long time. I took a break to focus on other things in my life, but I am back and I'm ready to like get the ball rolling. It's spring. It's like 74 degrees out today. I was feeling it. Actually, I got the inspo for this video yesterday and I was like, I have to tell them everyone should know. So as you can tell by the title, what's in my bag? That's what this video is. It's what's in my bag. I never thought I would be the one to do like a classic YouTube video just because it's not really my thing. You know, I'm not a, cl I mean, I like, I'm a classic person, but I like to mix it up. And typically a what's in my bag is just like, oh, me telling you what's in my bag. But after yesterday, when I was on my way to work and I like stuffed everything I needed in my purse, I was like, everyone, every woman or male should have this purse. And when I say what I mean, like if you're in my age bracket, you know, like you're the street city girl or, you know, you want to have that little bag that toughens up things a little bit if you are have a more of a like a class yourself. So anyways, without further ado, drum roll, please. This is the bag, the Alexander Wang Rocky bag. Um, sometimes it gets mistaken for the Rocco. No, this is the Rocky, so the miniature version. It is in like this limited edition color. It was like a goldy bronzy color um, with iridescent. So, mm, kind of got a little sick move. So, in the light, in certain lights, you can see like it's regular brown, but then it has like reddish and orange undertones. Love this bag. Little backstory. Really quickly, this bag came out in 2013. Well, then um, I remember I saw it in the magazine ad. I was like, I need that bag. Want that bag. Sold out really, really quickly. Obviously, the color is amazing, and it didn't come in the big version. It only came in this version. And so I was like, I need the bag. Months later, it like sold out really quickly. So I was like, whatever. It wasn't meant to be. Fast forward to summer 2014. I was like working, and I was about to buy the powder blue bag in this version the rocky because i was like i need a small bag for summer that will be cute powder blue perfect and i called the store and she was like totally don't see that anywhere in like our inventory like she's looking on the floor and everything she was like but i do have like the bra the brown one that's kind of like goldenish and i was like wait you're joking i was like hold that bag right now let me go get my card and i'm buying the bag right now and so four days later the bag came and I was in love ever since. This is my bag. A little bit on the bag and my review. I love it. It's perfect. It is heavy. So it was something to get used to. I don't really like stuffing it this much because like it's a weapon. And it, it is, I mean I like it because it's a weapon but it's really heavy and it's kind of bad on my back. But if I have like my normal stuff in it then I'm good to go. Um, you have two top handles. You have the zipper out. You have the long strap. And then you have two pockets. And then you have the trusty trendy alexander wing that's at the bottom so let's jump on into like this bag let's see what i have in here so yesterday so basically this is everything i had in there yesterday because it was like full to capacity um a bathing suit cover up no i haven't went to the beach or anything i bought it today i actually this is my second time recording this video i took it out the bag just now so i don't know what the bag is but it's just a bathing suit cover up net i kind of I'm digging this. I'm actually making my own baby suit cover up similar, but the net's gonna be smaller and with no arms. So this one just has the arms and the hoodie. Can't wait. I'm, I haven't been to the pool in years. I don't really do the pool. I don't like the pool. But I plan on my vacation for my birthday. Maybe Miami. I don't know. What do you all think? You have any options or like any suggestions? I mean, Miami, Puerto Rico. Dominican Republic, the Virgin Islands. I've been to the Virgin Islands. And I went to the Puerto Rico for like a couple of hours on the way to the Virgin Islands. So <laughs> went to Jamaica. I don't know if I went to Jamaica. Went to the Cayman Islands. So I mean, if you have some places you've been and you loved it, tell me. I've never been to Miami actually. So tell me, should I go to Miami finally? I will be taking someone else with me for my birthday. So tell me if it's like a place where you go with your girls or nah. Let me know. So what else is in the bag? My book. Um, the happiness makeover. I'm trying to like be happy with what I have and like that's a big problem in our society especially in my generation where it's just so we are like heavily into social media social media can be like if you let it push you the wrong way it definitely can like everyone has a filter on their life in social media so they only show you what they what you what they want you to see so you have to remember that like at first it's just like uh these people are this this and that but 
half of the time it's either front or they're just showing you what you want to see or what they want you to see so learning how to be happy and like happiness is a thing you have to work on so i'm currently reading this i'll let you all know how i like it maybe do like a book club thing i don't know next thing umbrella um it was like raining on and off yesterday i like to carry a big umbrella but who likes to like tug that along when you might go somewhere afterwards so i have this it does fit in this bag i mean it's a lot of stuff in here so next thing next big item is me a wallet so this is my wallet it's pretty big um it's kind of like crinkled leather it's from all saints uh i love this wallet let me hide that hide the numbers okay so i love this wallet because it has a ton of car holders this is one two three four five six seven eight nine amazing right and then some of these i have doubled up then you have a section right here my bjs and then a bunch of cards right here where i can put the handy dandy checkbook i'm old school i keep a checkbook you never know when like someone's car system's down and you really want something and you don't have cash because i never have cash i'm gonna keep it one hundo one day i was like mm, i have like my main checking account then i have like a backup checking account and my main checking account i didn't have no cash in it but i was like i get paid tomorrow so i just write a check it's not gonna go through on one day so i wrote a check and then i bought whatever i wanted and so what i love about this wallet is it has this part comes out you think i have my eyeglass cleaner i have what is this called floss what is wrong with me yeah so i have floss because uh my doctor my dentist was like girl you don't floss enough so now we try to floss all the time sally's receipt i returned something that sally today marshall's receipt from that stuff another marshall's receipt eyeglass cleaner wipe another eyeglass cleaner wipe um, FYI, I have a lot of lotion. So, first one, the Body Butter Coconut. I said the Body, the Body Shop Body Butter Coconut Style. I love anything that smells like coconut. I don't like coconut, but I like the smell of it. I be lotioning. I be lotioning people. This be going. Um, Wax Lean, if you haven't tried this, get to your local Whole Foods and pick you up some. I have two over there. I love them. I like to get everyone hooked on them. They're amazing. They're a better alternative than petroleum jelly. So get on that. Um, I have the Apple products of cords and earphones and whatnot. Just now, I went from four chargers in the beginning of the month to I now have two. It's ridiculous. Car keys, either they're in my pocket or they're in here. What else? Um, my phone, either it's in my pocket or in, in here. Yeah, I finally got a new phone. <sighs> finally. Um, miniature Juicy Couture perfume. One fact about me. If I don't have perfume on and I notice that once I've already left the house, I will go to my nearest place and buy perfume. Why? Because I just like smelling beautiful. Now, given I always smell like my shower gel, but I still like smelling a little bit more beautiful. Um, another lotion. Pink. Ultimate hand cream. Sun kiss. Deep nourishing. Shea butter. I think I, my mom gave me this for Valentine's Day plus some other stuff from Victoria's Secret. And it smells. I love reading it. It's my shea butter. I'm sorry. And a biotic that I probably will never finish. Oh. Don't fuck around with me. You heard? It's like, no, nah, no. Um, my father got me a knife a long time ago. But that one was like, I'm not the smoothest person. And so I couldn't get it open that easily in case of an emergency. So the boyfriend got me this cool switchblade. I be feeling so badass. Like what? Why? <laughs> I just love this. It's ridiculous. I have a hard time closing it though, especially because I have no glasses on right now. What else is in here? Biology shopping list for lab activities that I have yet to buy. I don't fucking want to buy that. I don't want to do the lab. Whatever. Um, fresh and sexy. Fresh and sexy wipe, ladies. All these are good to have. I have yet to use it. Um, I used to have the other ones by Summer Eve, but those weren't fresh and sexy. Those were just like everyday wipes in case, you know, like when it, I typically use them like when it's summer and it's like it's hot as fuck. And you're just like, oh, uh, you just want to like freshen yourself. Cool. These are on the other spectrum. Before and after intimate wipes. Hmm. So if you're getting my drift, 
you know, if you've been out, like, say if you, like, got up for work at 7 a.m., then you went to work, and then you went out for, for happy hour, then you might go out to the bars after that. Like, you know, I hit up U Street after happy hour, and now it's, like, 1 a.m., and you don't plan on going home, and you see your boo, and you're like, oh, well, your house. That's been a long-ass day since you've had a shower, especially if it's the summertime. You know, you might need to freshen up. That's what these are for. So I'll go to your local, get these from Bay Bath and Beyond Box. Go ahead, grab, grab that. You know, grab that. You gotta stay fresh for the men. Or not the men, you're mad. You know what, whatever is your preference. I ain't judging. Um, another eyeglass wipe. If you know me, my glasses are always dirty. What else? How am I doing on time? I gotta be done. A mirror that says show off, but I've never actually opened it. Cause I don't like to show off. I subtle stunt. Two dollars to my name. I never carry cash, but when I do, it's like ball out. Woo! You never know when you're gonna have to burn a bitch. Mm. What else? Oh, girl, I keep getting sore throats. This is ridiculous. I think I need to get my tonsils removed. So you gotta keep your Ricolas on deck. This is the best kind ever. This is lemon zest. It's like you're sucking on it and then like they drop a little lemon juiciness in your throat and you'll be like, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, what else? Okay. Two pins. I feel like a, a lady should never not have a pin in your purse. Be prepared for anything. Okay. Um, it didn't get ready. It's one, two, three, four. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Five. Six, uh, seven, eight, nine, nine the lip products. This is bonkers. So unnecessary. So first thing is Lady Danger. So if you always like ask me about my orange lip, either it's Proenza Scholar or a Scholar. I always say that wrong. Whatever. The Proenza Special Edition lipstick from Mac that was orange, or Lady Danger with. NYX Morocco on top and the NYX orange lining it. So there you go. Um, what else I have in my bag? I have Stout and Sepia. I wear that with, which one is this? Stone. I have Partial to Pink. I have Yash. I have A Living Romance, which is another light, light, light pink. I have Burt's Bees Chapstick. We're almost done. So what else is left in the bag? Okay, so in my little pockets, I like to keep another Subway card. And um, I have what? My Bloomingdale's Loyalist card. And then here was a check I found earlier that I quickly deposited in my bank account. And that's it. This bag is now empty and nice and light. I love this bag. If you don't have it, you're thinking about getting it, go cop that. Uh, I will say this color is long gone but there's other cool colors out there other cool color combos i love it because it's matte black and that's like um yeah so if you like this video you want more videos that are like classic original youtube s then um go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you do really want if you have any like video thoughts or topics or anything like that go ahead and like shoot a comment below or send an email to wendy in the city at gmail.com and um, hit me on my Instagram, wendy.inthecity. Probably will, you know, you can ask me some questions. Maybe I'll do like a quick, like five minute Q&A because we know I can talk and we really don't want to make that video long. So yeah, thanks for joining me for a new bag to buy. A miniature bag, possibly. I've thought about the 3.1 for the bloom. Actually, I really don't know if I want that though. Thought about selfie helm, but that bag doesn't zip. So if you have any options of like miniature bags that's like in a neutral color, that I can buy for spring. Oops. Let me know. My edges are laid, honey. What you mean? I know. Laid. Yes, honey. <laughs>